What's up everyone? How you doing? Solemn Sunday here with Approaching Infinity, what is quite possibly my favorite new indie roguelike. You know me, I really like traditional roguelikes, so <clears throat> allow me to show you this one. We're going to get started here. We're going to create a new game uh, with a new character. Now we have some options. This is just cosmetic here. We'll pick this guy. Actually, let's pick this guy. Yeah, I like this guy. I'm feeling good about Jace Bradley here. I'm going to rename him. And then we have some different options for our class. I think I'll do what I did last time. I've recorded this once before and it did not go very well. Uh, the video itself was fine, but then when I went to edit it, it was corrupted. So, <clears throat> 30 minutes of practice for this one. And watch, it'll still be terrible. <laughs> Alright, uh, we're going to go with Shuttle Ace, land the shuttle anywhere. We are going to go medium difficulty, and then we're going to pick an Assault Scout, because I really like the Assault Scout. I think it's uh, better than some of these other ones for just getting in there and getting started. Uh, but you do have options. There are 10 different ways to win this game. Uh, now it is in early access, so I don't know if that'll go up, but um, there are there are ten different ways to win this, and, and you know, roguelikes, the traditional roguelikes are like in early access forever because they're they're like a lifetime project, you know, they're somebody's hobby usually. Uh, all right, uh, different ways to win the game, different types of ships that do different stuff. For instance, this trader ship lets you uh, dock at any station, lets you see like the the prices of stuff between stations and like, uh, you know, get things cheaper one place, go to a different sector, sell them uh, for more, which is kind of the, the MO of doing that. <clears throat> Very sandboxy. Uh, we're going to go with the assault class and we're going to do some uh, some observation type stuff. Alright. And then it has some meta progression if you want to pay it forward that lets you uh, send yourself money from a previous fund, uh, a previous run, it's like a fund. Pretty cool. I really like that feature. Little meta, little meta progression. Never hurt anyone. So we're going to uh, get through this here. <clears throat> That's just kind of the opening section. It explains. It, it's like the same thing every time. It just kind of explains what's going on. Uh, but we don't need that because you got me. All right. So here we are. We start out and uh, we start with two quests: Humanity's Fate here and Outfit the Away Team. Depending on what you're doing what you start with, you'll you'll start with a different quest, like the trader, for instance, had a different quest. Uh, and here is the banker station, we're gonna go dock there and hang out. But first, we can see some ships moving here, that's because we've chosen an assault ship. Uh, as the trader, I couldn't see those. So pretty interesting there. We're going into this nebula, your view range is greatly diminished in a nebula, and we'll dock here. So what is the game about? What's the deal? Well, first off, it's kind of sandboxy. So you've got this space to explore, but I wouldn't say it's as close to something like Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead or, you know, a Dwarf Fortress type of game, as I would say it's similar to if you took NetHack and made it sandboxy. And I'll explain why in a moment here, and we'll get into that. But first, let's see what the Starship Outfitter is selling here. Mm, increased supply storage wouldn't hurt. Nothing really... I like to have uh, this screen over on this side. <clears throat> Alright, nothing really... Where's my astronauts? There we go. That's how I like it set up. Um, do we have a shield? We have a shield. Seeker missiles wouldn't hurt, but we have a rocket battery. So, like, we're not going to get anything that's super useful here. Uh, what's the contracts? These are your quests. You come to stations, you get quests. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, asteroids. We need to mine asteroids. We don't have the ability to do that yet. We don't have a, an asteroid cracker. But eventually we might get one and we'll, we'll do that quest. So why do I say it's like NetHack? Well, first and foremost, uh, this whole section, this, this area I'm exploring, this is one screen. And when you're done with this screen, it doesn't expand outward in any meaningful way. Instead, what you do is you go to the next layer down, another sector, and you can go back and forth. Uh, we're hailing them, saying hi, just kind of building a little bit of passive rep, being friendly. <clears throat> That's probably a pirate. Nope, okay. 
Uh, there, okay, so that's how we get to the, that's our staircase, right? That's how we get to the next sector. Uh, let's see here. Let's finish mapping this out fully so you can see. And now you might have noticed some planets, some stars. I can't do anything at stars yet. I haven't found a way to do anything at stars. Maybe you can. I, I haven't been able to. Uh, but there are planets. And your planets kind of are, are like dungeon floors, where you go down and you explore, and you get your points and your your benefits from being down there, and then you leave, and you're back to this this type of screen here. So let's start by going down on this planet here and taking a look, and I'll kind of give you an idea of uh, how the gameplay progresses. <clears throat> okay, now some planets have a breathable atmosphere, but this one does not, it would have told us. So over here you can see our O2, it's going down as we walk. Let's see. Uh, now we did not, it's noteworthy, we did not bring our officer, or our captain down here with us on this crew. You can tell because one of these guys isn't yellow. <laughs> Uh, he would be yellow. Okay, we got some uh, stuff here. And you can read all this stuff, it's really nice flavor. I'm not going to, uh, because I'm, you know, recording. Uh, but, ooh, a giant snail. It won't attack unless we challenge it. We're gonna leave him alone. They seem mostly friendly enough. They might become hostile if you're too close. Let's come over here and grab this. <clears throat> Maybe we can outlast the bombs. Now this game has pretty good music too. I really like the music in it. Uh, very charming design to it. Ooh, a new weapon. What's this? What'd we get? An SMG, okay. Uh, all right. We might need to go back to the ship to equip it, I assume. I haven't normally found weapons on my away team. I have played a good, uh, good little bit of this. All right, we're making progress here. The goal is to explore the whole whole planet. All right, so we found uh, part of our quest here, the Fall of Terra. We get a little bit of money for that. That's always here on the the first planet or one of the first two planets. I'm pretty sure. Um, so we're not, we're going to ignore the second planet here. Ooh, we better go get our air. Alright, nice. Now, when you run out, you just start taking damage. Uh, it looks like we, actually, okay, it looks like we mapped the whole place. Okay, cool, we're good. Alright, so, now, <clears throat> this is where it's interesting. You have a choice. So, we can remove it from a floor. We can never come here again and we get money from the thing we can sell from doing that, the survey, or we can leave it and come back to it. Now, why would you want to leave it and come back to it? There's nothing else here. Well, sometimes there is. Sometimes there's a cave, and the caves can go down pretty far. I think, I think on the Discord they said it was 57 was supposed to be the limit, which is a lot of floors, you know? So, pretty cool. All right, supplies are getting low. We're going to go restock. Restock our supplies sell our data, and then we have some stuff we can pawn, but we're going to keep both of these. And then, let's say we were playing a, uh, a trader, we could see, oh, boxes of boxes, bags of cans are going out of style, boxes of boxes are in. Uh, they're pretty cheap. <laughs> we could buy them cheap here, sell them for uh, more somewhere else. So, pretty cool there. Alright, let's equip our SMG here. <clears throat> Can we put this in our swap weapon slot? How would I do that? Ooh, it might not be swap weaponable. All right, well, we'll stick to the SMG for now. I've used a swap weapon before, so I don't know what the deal is there, but. All right, and we're going to the next sector. We'll ignore that other planet. Uh, but if you didn't notice, uh, the planet got kind of like wire framed out because we made it so we couldn't go back to it. So it, it marks it so that you uh, you know when you've been there and marked it for surveying. All right, what do we have here? <clears throat> we'll restock, we'll sell some data we've got. Uh, we could hire an explorer. We're at 58,800 right now. Uh, first off, what's with this? Sector three, rich in natural deposits of uh, this. We'll grab it. You can see if we wanted to buy a new ship, like this Stealth Runner, really cool. 
475. Almost 476,000. Wow. Ugh. Trade in value on this is pretty high, but that's. That's a lot. So, you know, uh, stuff isn't super cheap. Uh, 39,000 just for this armor, but we are going to get this armor. Ooh, a sonic shotgun. Ooh, that's putting us really low, but I want it. All right, we're grabbing the swap weapon, and we'll sell the sniper. Nah, maybe we should sell the... Maybe we should sell the, uh, SMG. Oh, can we not do that? All right, cool. Good to know. Ooh, a crafting lab. I forgot to even get into crafting in the last video. The crafting menu, which I can't pull up because we don't have a crafting lab, is insane. It's like super detailed and you have like all sorts of like the different weapons and stuff maybe if we found the right combination we could craft the sonic shotgun pretty cool uh these guys are non-hostile let's wave at them these guys are kind of like the uh the freighters of the game they they take stuff around they're pretty friendly i like them an asteroid belt nice nice uh, okay, we got a new planet here with environmental damage, so we're not going there. Uh, that's a regular Terra planet. We could uh, do that. Ooh, a gruff space station. Let's see what's this. <clears throat> These are like the lizard guys. These guys are like, fight me for honor, and then you fight them, and then you get like reputation with them, even if you like blow them up. Pretty cool. All right. Uh, what do they have in terms of starship stuff? Ooh, away team can cross mountains. Now that's pretty, that's pretty powerful. We forgot to hire that uh, other person. We couldn't afford it now. We'll grab it. And it fits into our uh, thing. We're, uh, <laughs> we're calling it pretty low on money though now. So, uh, okay, man, I'm not in your way. Let's try and find a, uh, Another planet to check out. That would be interesting. An interesting planet. I'm not seeing one. Oh, wait. Oh, 60 damage a move. That place would suck. We would need better suits for that, for example. Pretty cool. Alright. Um. So you can see what I mean with, like, I think anyway, with, like, the net hack comparison, where. You're still steadily progressing down, further into deeper, deeper stuff. Uh, let's check out this life sign sponge. Okay, let's check out this uh, this place here. This is a um... oh nice, I got an achievement for that, and it added some money to my uh, pay it forward thing. All right, we're going to dock here. This is a shipwreck, and you get some different options with shipwrecks. It's really interesting. All right, we found a neutralizer pod. Oh, cool. Oh, shoot. Squithers. Um. Why can't I shoot him? Oh, sonic weapons don't work without atmospheric pressure. Okay. Uh, we need to switch weapons then, don't we? Whew. I think squithers are in those eggs. Yeah. Alright, they're hitting us. Now, as you lose dudes, uh, your rep goes down. And as your rep goes down, dudes don't want to work for you. And so it becomes more expensive to hire them and replace them when your dudes die, which I think is a really cool mechanic. All right, we're grabbing a bunch of uh, stuff. Tons of antimatter. Ooh, what's that? A sponge. Pop him. Oh, dude, he has like so much health. All right, this is a place I probably don't actually want to really be. We should have enough oxygen to get the rest of this stuff here. This is the most of this stuff I've ever found. All right, restore our oxygen. Let's come check out this room. Nothing. 
Uh, this way. Oh, a hall. What is that? A damaged med bay. Oh, shoot. Okay. Fortunately, just the one. Now, you can repair walls. Uh, but we're not going to do that. I don't know if you can repair walls to make a ship usable. I've never had, like, enough scrap metal to do that. I wonder if these things become more dangerous, like when they grow up. Oof. All right, let's get down here and uh, get more oxygen. You can get diseases on your crew, which you have to get cured. I think that's pretty cool. Ooh, a code fragment, okay. Now, you know me, I'm kind of a mouse-only kind of guy. I like to play with primarily a mouse. And, uh, there's so much stuff here. All right, we have to go heal up, though. And, uh, this game is playable with just a mouse. I haven't really ran into any issues. Um, there was the wall repairing stuff. Uh, is not mapped to a mouse button. But... There's supposed to be a button for that here, and uh, that brings up my next point. I've talked to the dev personally, he's very friendly. Um, you can tell he cares a lot about the game, and... Oh shoot, we lost someone. Uh-oh. You can tell he cares a lot about the game, and uh, he's like, oh yeah, that's a bug, that shouldn't be that way. Uh, I will... Uh, you know, make sure it's showing up. Uh-oh. Oh no! Prince Middleton, my least favorite safe cracker, was hit and affected with post-human tinnitus. Social anxiety and declining constitution. Okay, well, fortunately we have these, um... <laughs> you can see I get diseased a lot. We have these, which... Well... That should fix my status effect. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it's because it's uh, asymptomatic. Let's try again. No? Okay. We'll see. Alright, we've almost covered this whole place. And uh, you've kind of gotten a good idea of some of the cool stuff you can see in this game. I think. Yeah, okay. So I, th I think that's everything. I think that's the whole whole place. Um, not up here, maybe? Yeah, okay. There's a little bit left to search. Yeah, okay. We've revealed the whole area. So let's get out of here. Alright, so we get some information. Now we can blow it up for parts or we can tow it to a station. Which, I like to tow it. You get a lot of money for it. Uh, where was our station? All the way up here. Oh, we dropped a bunch of antimatter. Why did... Oh, a syndicate shredder. You think I can't handle a syndicate shredder? Uh-oh. I'm in assault class, baby. I can handle a syndicate shredder. Uh... a syndicate shredder. Uh-oh. Maybe not. Maybe not. We're fine. We're fine. Let's just agree to disagree. Heck no, buddy. What's with all this scrap metal? Is it because they're... I think they literally blew up... Yeah, they blew up what I was trying to haul. Oh, that sucks. Well, that's just what happens in space, man. That's just like a cool thing that can happen. All right, well, at least we're gathering the scrap metal. I don't want pirates to come get our... Man, we're, we're all stored up on antimatter. Okay, let's come sell. That would have gotten us like 10K too. Uh, okay, we're gonna rehire a crew. 
sell some of our data. Uh, pawn, that, and I guess the sniper. Okay, we're gonna go try and get, uh, oh wait. We didn't sell the antimatter. All right, let's come over here and sell it. All right, pawn shop, nope. Commodities exchange, sell everything. Back to our antimatter here. A pirate. You know what, we'll be preemptive. I don't like pirates. Oh, is he gonna surrender? Yeah, I'll accept his surrender. I shot him first, that's fair. All right. Oh, geez. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, factions will interact with other factions too. Like, you just saw that. They're fighting. He dropped money. I want to come get the money that they dropped. This is cool. This is awesome. This is actually one of the cooler things I've seen happen, too. Alright. We're just going to keep going back and forth and selling this stuff. You think I won't shoot you? Assault class, buddy. Watch yourself. Alright. Uh, what did he drop? A hull raker. Whoa! That's cool. Let's replace the... Oof, what, the rockets? I don't know, it sounds strong. We'll try it. We've almost finished selling all of this. And, and is this the most efficient way to sell the antimatter? Profiteering beam. We'll leave that. Uh, probably not. It's probably worth more somewhere else. But you know what? We're not a hauling ship. If we were hauling, we'd have, like, a lot more, uh, a lot more room, you know? But that's, we're, you know, we have a lot less. Okay. Uh, we'll sell the raw ore. Let's pawn the profiteering beam. Let's see. Okay, the hull raker is not worth quite as much as the rocket battery. So, but we, we will switch it with the pulse laser just to see what it does. And we'll keep the pulse laser. Look at how many credits we have, 152,000. We made absolute bank off of that. All right, before we go, before we go, uh, let's take a look at maybe one more planet here. Is there anything useful I can buy? We'll buy the asteroid cracker and I'll show you that instead. How about that? Uh, we've got it installed, check this out. Boom. Now we can't do these, we can't do asteroid belts, but we can crack regular asteroids, which was one of our quests, if I recall. Let's see. Uh-oh. We can afford it now. Let's grab that second, uh, second person there too. Let's see. Uh, so we've got some different abilities we can activate from leveling up, and then we've got our away team. Now we've got both of them on our away team. Pretty cool. Uh, let's crack this asteroid. Couple more. It's easy to like get lost just like sandboxing and having fun and role playing even in this game. I'm a huge fan of it. Very excited to see where it goes. Yeah, I definitely like the other weapon better. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go one one more forward. And let's switch. Uh, oh, we get a new skill. Okay, let's see. Reveal large objects in a new sector. And let's equip our laser again. Uh, so you can see there's a lot of versatility to just doing anything. Here, let's say hi to these guys. Get our rep with them up. Uh, we can see our rep with this screen. See? Nice. I don't know how much of this stuff we needed, but, um... Oh, no, no, no! Ooh! Sorry! 
I meant to hit the pirates. I probably should have aimed first. Well, we'll just, uh, we'll ignore them for now. Hopefully they aren't too angry with us. Nice. Anything here? Ooh. We'll sell our stuff. Uh, concussion blaster. Water walking. Hey, that's kind of useful, but it's pretty expensive. What about the ships? A dealership, huh? That's kind of cool. What does that even do? Increases the amount of credits you receive from selling items in the pawn shop. Increases, doubles the amount of credits received from any credit item found. Huh, okay. Well, we've got to collect this stuff here. Oh, hey, we got the uh, banker headquarters. So this is one of, and in fact, the only way I've seen to beat the game so far, which is paying them 500,000. Sounds like a scam to me. <laughs> but, uh... It, it does mention that it's a way to beat the game, so. There are, uh, I think it said ten, again, in the Discord, I think they said ten, or not in the Discord, uh, in the pop-up, I think it said ten other ways, and it is an early access game, so I don't know if that'll go up or not, but, um. An irradiated planet, huh? What did, what did that say? Hang on. No environmental damage. Let's go down here so you can see a not regular green planet. And, uh, we'll land here. Whoa! Huh, that was weird. What was that trimmer? We can't go in the water. It's sludge. Oh, hey, chemicals. So you could use those. I think chemicals are one of those things you use in, uh... In the crafting. And then again, the goal is to kind of just survey the whole planet, and once you're done, if there weren't caves you want to go in, and the caves are pretty interesting too, if there are, uh, then you pack it up and you turn it in. And it's it's kind of like completing a floor in a dungeon. So we can't go across the water, but what we could do is this. Whoa, a big, bad, insane acolyte. Whoa, he's hugely strong. He has so many hit points. He came out of that cave? I didn't kill him. Where'd he go? I've never seen one of those. I've seen regular acolytes in a star temple. They're pretty scary, but... Oh, I don't think we can fully survey, because I don't think we can... Oh, nice, we got it. Alright, well, he's not messing with us, so... Let's finish. I'll show you guys the cave. Now your oxygen will go down while you're in the cave too, so... Whoa. The sludge is like moving from the cave-in it looks like. Oh hey, another set of stairs straight down. Oh shoot. Cave, cave floor quake. Uh oh. Let's, uh, let's go down again. Let's see what's down here. Sometimes there's, I think there's labs even. Like, secret under underground labs. Whoa. This is pretty cool. Uh, yeah, we'll pick a new, a new skill. Planet movement speed sounds good. Boulders. Whoa, crystals. All right, all right. I'm getting, I'm getting distracted here. I've been, I've been doing this too long. Uh, by the way, you can run out of air down here, and it's kind of scary. Whoa, that's new. I haven't been down this far yet. Whoa. 
The Red-Eyed Raider. Can we talk to him? I doubt it. Hostile at distance 5. Oh, I don't think we hit that far. Uh-oh. Okay, those guys are dangerous. Uh-oh. We shouldn't be down here. What is that, though? Oh, this is this is risky, but I want that thing. What did we pick up? What did we pick up? Shield up. Okay. Nano machines. Oh, it keeps going. Uh oh. Uh, you know what? We'll teleport and get out of here. We have enough oxygen to return to the surface, so it returns us right away. And you know what? That could have gone a lot worse. I want that. And look, we found another ship to explore. So. This game goes deep, and it just keeps going, and it just keeps going, and I've played a lot longer than I wanted to record again, and I was a little bummed out that, honestly, that I lost my recording for 30 minutes before, but this has been such a more entertaining episode, so I highly recommend you check it out. If you do want to check it out, it is in early access. It's like about 15 US dollars, but it has a demo. I played the demo for a couple days before I ended up buying it. It's on Steam. I'll have a link in the description. Uh, like I said, the dev's really nice, uh, seems really quick to fix problems or, you know, talk to the, he, like, he just talks in the Discord and it's cool. Uh, kind of the stuff I try to do, and I like that. Uh, it's very, you can tell he cares a lot about the game. Anyway, I want to thank you all once again for watching. I highly suggest you go check it out if it even remotely piques your interest. And, as always, I will see you next time.